Summer is a wonderful time for painting watercolour landscapes. However, although it draws you out of the studio to come and paint in wonderful surroundings like this, it presents many problems, especially to the amateur painter, but also the professional. So the aim of this DVD is to try and help sort out some of these problems, such as greens in the landscapes, and I think we ought to get on and look round and, and maybe start to do something. OK, before we start this painting, what I've done is I've taped down a £300 rough arsh paper uh, with quite a nice rough texture. I've drawn the, the subject out with a 2B pencil, quite a detailed drawing because although I like to start with a very loose wash all over, uh, I do like a tightish drawing so I can work the loose washes into. I've also applied some masking fluid to actually to hold the lights because I work very wet all over. Really uh, delicate sky it was this morning, an hour ago, and I want to keep that in my mind. It's changed very little, uh, but I want to, if I can, uh, keep that in. While I'm using this, because this is predominantly green down here, and so yellow um, underlies it really, really well, and now I want to sort of start to introduce, uh, in a very loose way, the, the underlying colour uh, into the buildings back there. I'm doing what you call a glaze here uh, with warm and cool colour. This is um, burnt sienna and what I'm doing is mixing on the paper so I'm adding a cobalt blue to it actually on the paper. A little bit more warmth in the reflection. Uh, it's reflecting the the cottage so I want to I want to put that in. This is just burnt sienna, cobalt, cobalt violet, I always like this cushion in the bottom. If it goes a little bit grey, we can always come back and liven it up a bit. But what I'm going to do is remove uh, all or most of the masking fluid. Uh, so one of the things that you need to do when, when you're removing masking fluid is clean finger, dry paint. If you've got any dirt or paint on your finger, you'll be rubbing and, and losing that lovely light. Uh, off the painting where you've masked it. So I'm going over here and I'm selecting, selectively removing some of the larger areas of, water, of uh, masking fluid. Some of the areas like in these little windows in here, I don't want to touch yet uh, because I need to build up the tones a, a touch more on, on those buildings. 